At every level, the outrage over Russia's actions in capturing three boats and, more disturbingly for Ukraine, 23 sailors, some of whom are injured, isn't calming down, quite the reverse. Ukraine's parliament debated martial law for several hours. It was approved by a large majority. President Petro Poroshenko says it will start from Wednesday. Not a declaration of war, he says, more a means of bolstering defences against aggression from Russia. But the martial law won't be national, applying only to coastal areas and regions bordering Russia. It will last 30 days. We have to reinforce our defense immediately so we can quickly react and mobilize all resources in case of an invasion. Poroshenko has managed to placate opponents who believe that martial law was going to give him a big advantage by limiting political activity in the run-up to the presidential elections at the end of March next year. Right now, his popularity is low, although there's a long list of world leaders who are giving him support over this crisis. NATO is demanding the immediate release of the Ukrainian prisoners held by Russia with this warning. So Russia has to understand uh, that its actions have consequences. And that's the reason why NATO has reacted uh, so firmly against uh, the actions of uh, Russia uh, against Ukraine over several years. And in the UN, more condemnation of Russia. We strongly support Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders, extending to its territorial waters. We express our deep concern over the incident, which represent a dangerous escalation and violation of international law. Russia may have rammed one Ukrainian boat, opening fire on a total of three vessels, injuring sailors, detaining all crew, Yet it continues to accuse Ukraine's president, who's standing for re-election next year, of deliberate provocation. This banditry must be curbed and the international community must understand what Ukraine is doing. We would urge our partners in the Security Council not to shoulder responsibility for the dangerous conduct of the Ukrainian authorities. While the Kerch Strait may be calmer now, the combination of Ukrainian anger and tension hasn't eased. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Kiev.